It was a good season in 2015 for Waianae's first year head coach, Walter Young. A 9-4 record with a trip to the state semifinals while hauling in all Hawaii Division I Coach of the Year honors. It was a huge turnaround for this team after not making it to states since 2010. So now the tides are turning towards the west side and the Sea Riders are back on the hunt to add a 19th OIA trophy to their historic collection. This is Waianae and this is 16 and 16. Sea Riders achieved high success, with two of their four losses coming from the hands of eventual state champion Kahuku. But with one year under his belt now, head coach Walter Young is ready to take Waianae football to the next level. I mean, uh, it, it was a surprise because, like you said, we wasn't there for a while. So when we got back there, you know, it was a good feeling for these kids. And uh, I think they uh, want to repeat it. So, you know, it was a good learning experience for us last year and this year. Hopefully we can do just as good or even a little better. It makes me feel that we brought a little more hope back in this thing, in, back to this community, and uh, that brings us, brings all the other upcoming football teams more hope that they can do a lot more. Hoping to recreate similar success, the Sea Riders will look to open up the box by spreading the ball through the air with senior quarterback Jaron Ulu, making way for YNI's stable of workhorses in the backfield. Oh, we try to do that to keep them fresh, you know, at the, especially towards the end, you know, the fresher back we got in, um, the better our chances, you know, to uh, move the ball when we need to and stuff like that. So, you know, we're going to try to continue that this year. Uh, we got a bunch, we got a couple of running backs coming back and we get a couple of from the JV. So we're going to try to, you know, uh, use what we have and I'll go from there. Um, key players, that would actually be all our running backs, we have about like five. So we have Rico Rosario, um, Solofua Gray, Skylar um, Kaleo here, and Jarrell Pontes, he moved from quarterback. So all of them are really good. They have a lot of experience and they should be top shape by season. Yes, it does because you wanna beat out that person so you can take their reps and get more playing time. The defense will have some senior studs returning with upcoming players looking to step up into new roles. Because I know like this group right here, yeah, a bunch of seniors, they were just coming out here last year just to dominate. Oh, we're working out, we got a, we got a lot of um, young JV come ups. They're doing good. Just, yeah, we got the uh, Dayton Weber, uh, Tony Cabral. Yeah, pretty, pretty much good. Yeah, I know our front seven, uh, our linebackers, you got Naki, Fast, Brandon, just quick. Uh, hard nose, yeah. Titan, same thing. All around the front seven, just, yeah. The Sea Riders have not only been putting in work on the field, but off the field and in the community, hoping that their success will come from how well they play together as a team. Well, we wear like the same color shoes and socks and stuff in the games, you know, our helmets all look the same um, and stuff like that. So we try to, you know, instill that if we, we look alike, we play alike, we're gonna be better off as a team. And since it's a team sport, it's kind of what we look for, yeah. Can the Sea Riders replicate their success and reach higher for a championship title? Waianae begins their season August 5th at Kamehameha Kapalama. Spencer Honda, scoringlive.com.